The reason we have three blades in the system is that each blade has its own specific working range. What do I mean by that? The number one blade is a very rigid blade, but they're all designed to flex. On the number one blade, you have a working range somewhere between these two points. It is a fairly rigid blade, and I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on it to get that much of a radius. What happens when you flex the blade? It gathers tension in the blade, and when that blade has tension in it, it will faithfully convey the radius that that blade has taken onto the Bondo. So the number one blade is used that way. The number two blade is more flexible, and its working range is somewhere in this area, which is considerably more flexible. Again, it gathers tension in the blade, becomes rigid, and it will faithfully convey a radius anywhere in between here, over a broad uh, area. Now, the number three blade, which is the most flexible blade, has a working radius of somewhere in this range, which is a, a considerable radius, and it will have enough tension in the blade to reproduce a radius like that faithfully. Now, if we look at a panel on a car, I'll take the number one blade, and if I put this panel on a, put this blade on a vertical radius, you can see the curve on that panel in this vertical radius. It's considerable. It's a, it's, it's a uh, large radius. Now, if I tried to use the number one blade to accommodate that, I could do it, but I'd have to push so hard I would be distorting the panel as you can see it moving. This is too rigid of a blade to accommodate a radius like this. However, on the horizontal plane, it fits flat. And that would be somewhere where we'd want to be. But even though it sits flat, it's not designed to sit flat. It's always going to want a radius on a panel, in which case we will use any one of the blades. I prefer the number two blade with a stiffener on it, which makes it a rigid blade, flat, and even at a steep angle like this, it cannot flex. It's absolutely rigid. So the working range for this blade is only a flat blade. So I could transition down this panel with this blade, and it's going to keep this panel absolutely flat like it is. I could then come back with a number two blade and accommodate this radius very easily and I'd be able to sweep across it just like that and reproduce this exact radius with the number two blade. That's why we have three different blades. Not one blade will accommodate every radius.